Welcome to today's video where I'm going to share with you three recipes that are five ingredients and you can make in 15 minutes or less. I'm calling this first recipe a double sweet salad because we have sweet potatoes and sweet corn, some black beans, like I said, sweet corn, cilantro, sweet potatoes, and lime. Five ingredients. You could also add salt to all these recipes if you want to or any seasonings that you like. I stuck strictly to five ingredients so I didn't add any additional seasoning. So you're gonna wanna wash, dry your sweet potatoes, peel them, and then cut them into cubes. I like to save all of my rinds and ends and make veggie broth so i'll leave a recipe down in the description box below for my veggie broth but comment down below and let me know if sweet potatoes are also hard for you to cut i think i need to sharpen my knives like yesterday but we need to get on it so this was a really simple instant pot recipe i am using my pressure cooker i wanted to share a whole bunch of different ways to cook five ingredient 15 minute or less meals this one came together in about 10 minutes as long as your cutting and chopping is pretty quick that's the longest part of this recipe so all you're going to do is take your chopped sweet potatoes put them into your instant pot if you have your basket I would definitely use that I forgot to grab that attachment when I was putting this together but it does help to just steam the veggies a little bit better so the sweet potatoes don't get as mushy but sweet potatoes on the bottom and then sweet corn on the top and about a cup of water just to let them steam and then you're going to put them in your pressure cooker for about five minutes I think next time when I make this recipe I'm actually gonna cook them for three minutes the sweet potatoes were just a little too soft for me but I think if I would use my steaming basket they would have been a little bit Better. So you're going to open your black beans, drain and rinse. You can also use homemade black beans if you'd like. This was just a really easy way to cut down on some of the time for myself. Add that to a large bowl and then you're going to chop your cilantro once it's been rinsed. I like to rinse and then air dry mine. I found that that was like a really easy way and then I felt like it got all the dirt off. A lot of you left me some wonderful suggestions on how to keep cilantro in the fridge. I did put this little bundle in a little jar with some water and this is a week old and it was perfect. I'm very impressed by the life of this cilantro because before if I would just package it like I think I told you I was going to put it in like a reusable Ziploc bag with a reusable paper towel it would maybe last three to four days and it would kind of get a little bit dingy but keeping it in my refrigerator like a bouquet of flowers as many of you suggested was perfection. So then you're just going to squeeze your limes in. You can add as many limes as you'd like. I had some really good ripe limes and I felt like two was perfect. Like I said a little splash of sea salt would be perfection with this but I didn't want to cheat and call it five ingredient meals and then use additional seasonings so my corn I do have to cut off the husk really quickly but if you don't want to do that additional step you can just go ahead and use frozen corn um, I really just like sweet corn on the cob especially when it's in season I think it's so good and then all you're gonna do is keep scoop all of your ingredients into a large bowl and stir together and it's perfection so I ended up scooping this recipe into some reusable containers and popping it in my fridge for a couple hours because I wanted to eat this cold because in the summertime I just really like cold meals but you can eat it warm you can eat it cold you can eat it however you want you can add any seasonings you want or any dressings but I feel like this is just a really good summer meal I also really like serving this meal with a side salad to up the greens a little bit but you can have this as a side dish or as a main dish This meal is so beautiful. I just love all the colors. You can also substitute for any different kinds of potatoes that you like. We also really like the Japanese sweet potatoes that you can get at Trader Joe's. And I think I'm actually gonna try the same recipe later this week using the Japanese sweet potatoes because I did pick up a bag when I was there earlier this week. This next recipe should not surprise you if you've been around here for a while, but what you're gonna need is some pitas or even tortillas, garbanzo beans, dried cranberries or even dried raisins. Golden raisins are really good. Some celery and a mustard of your choice. I'm using jalapeno mustard because I feel like that contrast of sweet and spicy goes really nice together. So yes, I make a version of mock chicken salad or mock tuna salad or chickpea salad, however you call it 
all the time in my videos is because I eat it all the time. It's literally one of my favorite things. It's so quick and easy. It comes together in like less than five minutes and it's so good for summer. So I'm going to drain my garbanzo beans but not rinse them because I want a little bit of that aquafaba in with this to just kind of make it a little bit creamy. You can make this at any texture that you like. If you like it really smooth, you can whip it with a little bit more liquid, add a little lemon juice to it. If you like it a little chunkier or not as moist, you can add a little less liquid or a little less mustard. I add about three tablespoons of mustard and you can use any mustard that you like. I feel like the flavor components are completely adjustable to your palate. And then all you're gonna do is add that into a bowl, mix in your celery and your cranberries, and you have that nice, crunchy, sweet, savory, spicy flavor. Oh, it's so good. And then what I'm gonna do for my pitas is I'm actually going to chop them up into chips, put them in my air fryer at 350 degrees for about three minutes. They come out nice and crunchy, and then I have like a chip and a dip and it is so good. It's the perfect meal to take with you. If you've had a long day, it's really hot out, you don't feel like cooking, you can get this together in less than five minutes. You can make a big batch of this as meal prep. It's so delicious and using the air fryer does kind of keep the heat out of the kitchen a little bit. Same with a pressure cooker or an air pot or a pressure cooker or an instant pot. You get the gist, I try to keep you know, my appliances as minimal as possible in the summertime, but obviously I still kind of want to cook in my kitchen. So like I said, I popped these in my air fryer really quickly and this meal was just delicious. It came together in a couple of minutes and it was perfect for a hot summer day. This last meal is going to take you the full 15 minutes to make. You can make these on the grill, you can make them in the air fryer, you can make them in the oven. I decided to make them in the oven because I was doing a large batch of them, but if it was just me eating a couple of kebabs, I would definitely just put them in the air fryer. So you're gonna need some tofu, mushrooms, a barbecue sauce or a sauce of your choice, peppers, onions. You can really use whatever you personally like to make kebabs, but I'm actually splitting this in two ways. I'm going to make my tofu kebabs and then I'm gonna make my veggie kebabs and then I'm going to put barbecue sauce on all of them. Now, if you really, really love barbecue sauce, you might cringe when I put water with it, but I like barbecue sauce, but I like it to be really pliable and spreadable. And I feel like when I add a little bit of water, I usually do a one-to-one -one ratio, a cup of water to a cup of barbecue sauce. I feel like it spreads better, it steams better, it cooks faster. So if you don't like that, just leave the water out completely. But like I said, I'm doing a veggie kebab and a tofu kebab. I know you can freeze your tofu and it'll be more firm. I don't press my tofu or anything. I just buy extra firm and I do like the texture of it once it's baked with a little bit of sauce on it. I think it's really good. But you're just gonna put your kebabs together. Like I said, you can put these in the air fryer at about 400 degrees for about six minutes in the oven they take about eight minutes and on the grill I actually don't even know how long they would take because I don't have a grill not yet but if you have a grill you can kind of like leave them out there and enjoy the time in the summer and get all of the heat out of the kitchen the oven is basically the worst way to make this recipe in the summertime but I only had my oven on for about eight minutes so it's really not that bad and if you have kids and you can find some reusable kebab sticks. These are really fun family meal to make. Um, I think that that would just be really fun. I mean, if I've made these all the time as a kid, so I know it's really fun, but I feel like it's just really fun to put them together and kind of get the kids in the kitchen, but I probably wouldn't do it with the wooden sticks that I have just because they are a little bit pokey, but you know your children better than I do, but it's a great way to get the family going and then they can add whatever veggies that they may like. Like I said, we did that a lot as a kid and I really enjoyed it. And I feel like then you get a little bit adventurous when it comes to vegetables. I also really love zucchini and yellow squash on these. So literally you can make them any way that you like and they're so beautiful and so colorful. They're like little rainbows on kebabs. They're just beautiful.
Like I said, if you like a little bit heavier of a sauce, you don't have to add the water. You can add any sauce that you like. We also did these with orange sauce a few days later. So good. It was just so delicious. But then I just popped them in my oven for about eight minutes. And when they were out, we served them with a side of the barbecue sauce, just in case anybody wanted a little extra dip. It was so delicious. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Take me over on Instagram if you make any of today's recipes and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.